Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're in update 1.23. Gonna keep continuing on with the hunt here, testing out all the little new features here and there, especially the increase in sound distance. See, there's one there now, 350 meters out. Maybe we'll take a look. Uh, but I have a side project going on, as you may have seen from the uh, beginning artwork there. Uh, we're looking for, specifically, uh, low-fit, uh, max-weight animals. So, in previous videos, sometimes I'll get a, a comment, or in the Discord, this will come up. If you go on in the encyclopedia, when I get a, when I get a harvest, I've been using the, the weight of the animal to determine uh, the age of it. So if you just sort of pick anything, uh, let's take a look at Rocky Mountain Elk. And you scroll down here, I'll take a look at uh, the weight of the harvest, and then I'll, I'll see the range of the mature one, and I'll put it somewhere in there, and then I'll do like a linear conversion over into the age to, to get its approximate age. Uh, but there's a lot of questions about this, if that's accurate or not. Some people think that works, some people do not think it works. Uh, and the only way I can think uh, to sort of figure this out, just because it seems 50-50, um, it's it's probably two things, right? So it is the age of the animal. Is it the age of the animal that that is the primary factor in determining the weight, or is it the fitness of the animal, which is the primary factor in determining uh, the weight of the animal? Uh, and I think there's some confusion because some people come from Call of the Wild, and that's how they sort of do their thing. Uh, they they track max weight uh, footprints and the max weight animals are the ones that score the highest. Uh, but Call of the... or... Uh, what game is this again? <laughs> Way of the Hunter uh, does things a little differently, and we're just kind of trying to uh, sort that out. So what we do know is we know that m that high fitness animals uh, definitely hit max weight, right? But if a low fit animal can hit max weight, then that would pretty much rule out fitness as the primary, as the primary uh, attribute of of weight. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. I normally hunt the older mature animals, and I'm pretty sure I've shot um, low fit animals that were right at the top end of the weight scale. It's just uh, I should actually go back and check the hunting log a little bit. And do a bit more research in it, but that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna try and find whatever oldest animal we can find, lowest fit, and just sort of take a look at that every single harvest. Now, while I'm trying to find these elk, uh, I was looking over some examples. Uh, some members of the Discord were putting up examples uh, to sort of, you know, look at the harvest they had and try and figure out the weight thing. Uh, but there's one that posted on the Discord. It's from uh, Faye Ann. Oh, just gotta I'm losing my voice here. Yeah, I'll see if my voice here works now. Oh, did I just alert? I'm gonna alert here. Ah, oh, there we go. 130. We're gonna check out this herd here. Uh, but yeah, another YouTuber, uh, Faye Ann, he let me borrow a screenshot. I'm gonna go uh, look for it now. It is from an extremely high fit red deer. And we're just gonna take a look at it real quick here if I can find it. So, uh, Faye Yen, he posted uh, this in the Discord. I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his uh, name right here. Uh, but as you can see, this is a 99.6% almost max fitness red deer. Now, it only scored two, uh, two stars in the trophy rating. Uh, but that's because it's a brand new mature animal. Uh, so, if you don't know, uh, the stars grow over time as the animal grows up in a ratio compared to the fitness. So, this one would have maxed right out at five stars. Uh, but we certainly uh, don't blame Faye on this one um, because I would have I would have taken the shot too two star two star mature usually you're safe to take the shot down or take the take the animal down uh, but that's not what's interesting about this one is because it's max fitness but if we look at the max weight of red deer it is certainly not 212 so I'm just gonna bounce back to the game here remember, remember 212 don't let me forget that. So we pop back in here, Encyclopedia, Red Deer, we're remembering the number 212. We fly back here, and where are you, Red Deer? Right here. So we go down to Mature, so 212. So it's a new Red Deer, 
And it's certainly not max weight because they max out at 240, but that makes sense, right? Because it, it just came from adults. So there is, there is certainly an age factor for sure because obviously the different uh, categories here. But I think some people maybe think that when they jump the bracket, I'm thinking maybe this is where some of the confusion comes into. Like when they draw, when they jump the bracket from adult to mature, they get assigned a weight and then they stay there. So if it's like a max fitness, as soon as they go to the mature stage, they hit like 240. Now, but that's definitely not how that works. Um, they'll jump to the lower end of the mature stage, and then as they go through this age, the weight does increase. The question is, uh, you know, like which one means the most? Now, it's not really too, uh, like, it doesn't really matter too much, the science. We're just trying to sort of figure out... Um, like how that is determined. I think it's primarily based on age, but others think it's, it's fitness. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. If we're hunting red deer, I was, I'm pretty much looking for like a low fit red deer doing 230 plus kilograms, and that'll pretty much give us the answer for it. Uh, but of course, we're not doing red deer right now. I just wanted to show that uh, screenshot off there uh, just because there's a lot of kind of confusion there. People have different thoughts and, and thinking on it. Um, I mean, I think some people... Some people think it, it's like Call of the Wild where they get assigned a weight and they, they, uh, the animal stays to that weight. But they definitely increase weight over time. So now, uh, we definitely got these guys alert. I'm going to see if I can get some kind of visual on these. See if we can get an old elk here lined up. Now, I never actually showed where we are either. I'm actually uh, continuing on pretty much where I left off of the previous video. Still up here in uh, White Pine uh, Orchard, <laughs> where I've never really made it very far. Uh, so not hunting any need zones or anything like that. I don't have the toolkit up today. We're just going to do we're gonna do the, the new update 1.23 way. Uh, listen, to, listen to the sounds and hunt what we see. Uh, so these guys are walking away from me. What time is it? Um, it's almost 4 o'clock. Did they change? I don't think they changed elk, did they? Yeah, the tier 6 uh, guys down here didn't change, right? So they should be going to a feed zone... But I doubt I have their feed zone marked. I don't know there's one here. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. That's I mean I don't have the toolkit open. And I don't have the collar with me. Hopefully I can get in here a little bit closer. There they are there. These guys are a real bugger though to hunt. <laughs> right when these trees I get to about 150. 150 doing normal crouch speed on default difficulty alerts them. So looks about Oh, I'm getting that bush in the way there. They're somewhere around 150. Yeah, there. I don't know. This isn't really a good one to run this test. I thought just going down Cottonwood Creek and doing there, like hunting the mule deer, because when they get really old, it becomes really clear. They go very gray. Yeah, but I, but the the elk get looking pretty old too. Now the uh, the side point uh, that you can make with. Uh, with these animals is the females, right? They're all 0% fitness, but they also have weight ranges, and 0% fitness females get up to max weight on their scale, so uh, obviously fitness doesn't play a factor in, in the uh, the female animal's uh, weight. I think I might have a bull, an old one here, but like, this bush is going to... Like, this is the... No, the bush is not going to stop the shot. There's something else after it. Sticks or whatever. Uh, I think one's got the old fur variant on it. Too heavy. They're going to spook, though. See, that's the younger one. There's an older one right here. Yeah, 150 or so. I only got one bullet in the gun here. Look at these sticks, though. I don't think I can get this through. Squeak over a little bit. Oh man, look at the trees. Like, is that gonna block it? Probably. <laughs> oh no, it got through. I also should have brought. When when you're doing testing and science and stuff like that, you should hunt in the open areas, and you should bring a bigger gun. Now, I knew this guy was older than the other bull that was there. I just, I don't know if he was mature or not. So I still have all the, the animal ID off. I should turn it on for testing, but, you know. I figure this is going to take me a while to figure out anyways. It's just going to be hunting like normal. And uh, just seeing what we can, 
We can just double bomb. Let's just see what that hit was. I have no idea if it was good. It seemed to be in the right spot, but it is a 7 mil. Uh, we do got a good hit. Alright. Good. So far, I'm, I'm doing like 6 for 6 with a 7 mil. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him a minute here while I'm waiting for him. Actually, I'm gonna check out my hunting log. Maybe I just have one, like, on hand that can just prove my point here. Well, I'm not really trying to prove my point. It's just, like, a hypothesis that I've been sort of assuming, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I'm gonna take a look. Oh, so here's a quick example here. Uh, just food for thought. So here's the 35% um, mule deer buck. Uh, 181 kilograms. They cap out at 200 kilograms. So I'm looking for like a low fit like this one close to 200. Uh, but take a look at this one. So 181 kilograms, 35% fitness. And then up here we have a high fitness 88 and it's only 3 kilograms more. Now that's obviously probably a younger one. But I mean that's still really close, right? Like that's mean I'm not too sure how much fitness really plays into this. Uh, like maybe this was a really young mature, so kind of tricky. I'm going to keep scrolling through here. I'm, <laughs> you know, there's a few hundred <laughs> animals to go through here. So I must have, uh, I must have some mule deer in here. Like, if I go through them all, I shouldn't actually have to go out and hunt. I should, I, I, I've got hundreds of animals in here. There should be one. Should be in one here, but, uh, you know, maybe this will just prove my hypothesis wrong. Because that's a, that's a lightweight one, but again, he could just have been a new mature, right? No, oh, wasted trophy, of course. Uh, so here's another example. This is a uh, 60% guy, so just like medium fitness. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, mule deer here too. Like a lightweight one, though. But see, I had the 30% one sitting much higher than this guy. Uh, so that's kind of showing you that age has to be the primary thing, but I'm scrolling through here, and what I'm finding, what it's looking like is it's definitely age, obviously, is the biggest factor. Because this is like 60% 130, and what was the other one? It was like a 30% something, but it was, it was up. Um, actually, I forget what it was, but it was above 16, was it on the way to 180? Anyways, it was a lot heavier than this guy. Uh, so age definitely has got to play a factor here. And I'm thinking that um, the fitness only changes it probably you know, plus or minus 10 kilograms or something when you're taking a mule deer in. Uh, so that's my guess, is just from looking at this a little bit for a little while here. Yeah, so here's a 91% in capping out there. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, like, the low-fit mule deers can probably hit 185. Uh, and, of course, the high-fit ones can get all the way to 200. So it looks like it does play a factor in it, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of scrolling through here just a bit more. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like fitness does it, but, because it, it is being a little consistent here. So here's a high fit, but it's only 150, right? Uh, so that would be the younger mature. Um, there's a low fit that's heavier, right? <laughs> By like a few kilograms. So he's much older. Oh man, yeah, you, you could be here forever trying to sort out the the math on it. And there's a lightweight 31 kilogram. Um, Right in the middle. Yeah, so I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Mainly age, mainly age, give or take 10 kilograms either way, depending on fitness. See, here's a 74%, really lightweight for a higher fit one, 150 kilograms. This means so, hmm, puzzling. An 85%, light for what I think an 85% would get. So, younger one maybe. Look at this tiny guy, 33%, 112 kilograms. Like, I'm not even sure he's past the adult range. Uh, and all the way back to my first kill. Uh, roadkill pheasant. I remember that, loading into the game. I think most people's first kill in the game was roadkill. <laughs> but there was the pheasants that take off right when you drive down to the lodge. Yeah, I smucked a pheasant, I remember that. Alright, so here I am thinking I should go hunt for some low fit old guys to try and see. Well, I didn't even have to. I got a hundred mule deers in the log that I can look through. Uh, so it's kind of all over the place. Uh, I looked at about a hundred. hundred mature uh, mule deer bucks. And it's definitely, like, it's kind of what you would figure. It's a combination of both. But yeah, definitely not exactly, well, not what I thought. I thought that uh, the fitness wasn't playing much role at all into it. 
Uh, so you can't really, you can only do what I was doing, gauging the age, if it's a high fit animal, because the high fits well hit almost that cap. So you can sort of see how close you were uh, by looking at the weight and seeing how close it was to max by engaging its weight. But if it's a low fit animal, I don't think there's any way really to gauge its weight then. It's, it's kind of all, yeah, you'd have to know what the cap is of every single low percentage. Anyways, um, yeah, so it is prime, it looks like it's primarily age with a, like a bonus for fitness uh, to get you there. I just don't know what the low fit cap at because I had some low fits get pretty heavy, like 150 kilograms, 160 kilograms. I, I, I gotta look back in the video there because we're looking at the one that was pretty heavy, but, um, anyways, that one must have been right at the top of a low fit, what it can get to. Anyways, so I can sort of stop trying to calculate weight by, or age by doing that anyways. Uh, let's take a look at this guy, right lung 7 mil. See, the 7 mil had no trouble there. No trouble at all. 59%. Uh, well, I guess we'll take a peek while this guy's here. What do these guys cap at? 500 kilograms? Uh, so he's a 2 star. Which is pretty much 60%. Uh, yeah, 457, 60%. Let's see here. 457... Um, yeah. 457, 60%. See, I would... I would think he'd be lighter if fitness was there. Hmm. I guess he's right where you'd think. Ah, oh, it's too hard. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go crazy trying to figure <laughs> that one out. Let me know what you think, anyways. All right, let's do some hunting for the remainder of the episode here. I got a female bear that's been calling away up here. Now, they shouldn't be uh, spawning on their own, except I think this bear is left over from the update that changed that before the update. So if you still have solo female bears on Nez here, if you shoot them, they should come back as males, my understanding. So... There was a time when I was taking them all out. Looks like I missed this one. Oh, where are you there? 90 meters away. Thank you for calling. And we'll see if I can get... all oh, the wind's going right at her, though. Alright, see if I can get closer to her. Now, I'll probably end up spooking her, because I'm not in the most patient of moods at the moment. And it's not like big deal if I get her or not. She is by herself, so she's one of those leftover solo female bears. But I'll, I'll probably end up spooking her, I think. I'm trying to go a bit to the right because the wind's going this way and she's over here. But I also just have the 7 mil, so it's going to be interesting. I, I want to get her just so I can try the 7 mil out on a black bear. I don't really do that too often. Now, did I lose her? I didn't get any spook, did I? Alright. Chemo time. Doop. There we go. Let's just take a peek here. Where are you? She was around here. Oh, well, maybe I did send her running. I probably did. Oh no, there she is. I don't know how I'm going to get her though. Did I bring a call with me? What did I bring? Oh, I do have the predator call. Okay. I'm going to get in a position here to use this. Alright, so yeah, I'll be using the drone camera here because I haven't really called a bear in since the new uh, update here. So, like, after, like the new lure pathfinding. I want to see if they're kind of just like the deer. Did they copy-paste that over? I kind of like watching them come in here, but uh, I'm going to have to call again. So far, she seems to be pretty steady. i seen her pause for a second. Uh, let's see, where are you? Oh, right here. So she paused for a second to call. There, we can do the cinematic mode. She's coming right for a river. Oh, 
Barbara's over there. Oh, there she goes. Oh. Okay, so the call hasn't ran out, so that's just the pause. Oh, here we go. Is that like, uh... I think they did that before, right? Alright, she's gonna turn away from... the call here. Right here. Alright. Is it a good shot? I think so. That's pretty pink looking. I can't seem to get it though. Oh! That really worked. Okay. That must be a heart shot. I thought it was too high. Oh, I did hit the heart. Looky there. Right at the top of it. See, that's mean you're, if you hunt the different animals too much, you start forgetting where the heart is in these animals. Um, because it's the buffalo that it sits down here, right? I should be able to heart shot black bear a lot since it's sort of right in the middle. All right, well, uh, no trouble. Seven mil there, and seven mil would have knocked out the lung too, but really close range, right? Uh, adult female, okay. Well, the good thing is, uh, she's now been reset. Well, that's, that actually raises a question. She was an adult female. So, um, that means she's fairly new. So, shouldn't the old one that died off before been replaced with a male? Or have I not been playing Nez that much? <laughs> I guess that could be it. I don't know. I guess the majority of since Aurora Shores came out, most of my playtime is all in there, all in Alaska. So, anyway, uh, I still haven't moved very far <laughs> since the last episode. Of this one, I spawned here, and I've been just, just here. That's it. I haven't even made it very far with the new, uh, with the new calls, and there's always something calling. You can just go get it. Oh, so that reminds me of the uh, the other debate that was in the Discord. So what do you make of this? I brought it up in the other another episode there recently. Uh, it's it's someone in the Discord said for Aurora Shores, what's the best two weapon or what's the best weapon combo uh, to bring there? And it's it's sort of the same for every map. It's just uh, depending if you if you ignore small game. And you, and you, if you, I guess, exclude the, the crossbow, uh, which is kind of the age-old question, which two weapons do you bring? I usually side with uh, the SM12, so the 300, and then either the 223 or like the 243, like uh, the lower end of the tier five uh, spectrum. But what I hear quite a bit is my favorite combo is the SM12 and the monoblock, and now I get it. Uh, yes, you get a you get a powerful, accurate tier five weapon. You get, of course, the SM12, uh, powerful tier six uh, weapon. So I I do get the combo there. But whenever I like, I don't use the uh, the monoblock in the 300 combo because it just feels. Uh, strange uh, hunting with both of those rifles to me anyways like i barely hunt with two rifles as it is now usually the crossbows with me or i just bring one rifle i uh, just because it, it feels sort of weird hunting with two rifles um but i mean if you bring the a 22 and something else that's okay right uh, but if i brought the 300 and the 308 with me it just feels overkill. Like I was saying in the Discord, it feels like I'm going to go to battle with the... With the I'm not hunting. I'm going to go into battle with... Because you're essentially carrying two high-powered 30 cal rifles with you. There's another female bear. How come mine have not spawned males? They were supposed to fix that. I'm just assuming that I haven't reset them since uh, the update. You got 298. I might be able to see here from up here. But yeah, that's just kind of my opinion with that. I, I find if you bring the 300 and the 308 with you, the game's a bit too easy there. That's it's a bit too much, too much. Because um, if I'm gonna bring the monoblock, I won't bring anything stronger than the monoblock because it can handle all the tier six. I mean, the little 223 can take down a bison if you hit it right. So a monoblock certainly can. Uh, so I find I don't need anything stronger than the monoblock. 
So it feels weird to carry something stronger. Or did I walk right by you? Or are you on the other side of the hill? Oh no, you're right there. Are you by yourself? So if you don't have the little identifier, you can only tell by the by the sound what they are. So she was a female. Where is the Where's your buddy? Well, no biggie. Uh, okay, so there's the bear. I think it's just a female by itself. 250 out. Oh, here's here's a test. 7 mil. 250 on the black bear. Here's a shot. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drop it in. Wind to the left. This is gonna be tricky. Okay, this might take a couple of test runs here. We're not gonna move. Or oh, you're gonna lay down. I never see their lay down animation. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna lay down too. Okay. How often do you see this? I don't, I don't ever see them laying down. Is it, uh, rest time for bear? No, it's the feed zone for the bear. I wonder if they changed that. I know they could lay down, but I've never ever seen it, really. Alright, ooh, that went up by itself. Alright, wind left, quartering in. Gotta drop it in. We'll mark the spot. I think that's good. I don't think I need another one. It's looking pink from here. Yep. There's another blood spot there. So she's still bleeding. Okay, we can let her run. So, there's to my point. You can just use a 7 mil on anything. You don't need anything stronger than the 7 mil. Getting overpowered if you bring something stronger than the 7 mil odd 8. <laughs> no, I, I understand. No, it's just... Uh, I don't think uh, players give the, the lower cows a chance. I also hear that... Uh, I see I see a comments go by. Uh, someone's like, I've never actually tried that rifle yet. Or I've never tried this rifle. Or I only ever use this. And I find that interesting because I'm like, don't you want to keep the game interesting by trying all the different rifles in it and comparing? But there are people that say they pretty much just use uh, their fi favorite one or two rifles and that's it. I find it fun though just uh, using the... And they're not really low or underpowered. They are as like the game goes. But I mean, if you can take a black bear with a t lower end tier 5 rifle at 250 meters, I mean, yeah, you're okay. It's, uh, I like, I like just the challenge of the shot placement. I mean, I'll bring the 300 out when I, that's, I mean, when I'm doing, like, science testing and stuff like that, and I don't want to, I don't really want to have a stressful hunter to muck around here. Uh, where's the, where's my spuck here? Right here. Yep, good. Alright, I just need to find her here. Ah, here she is. Alright, so you are reset too. Now which bear is it? It's this one. I thought I reset these bears. I went through here. Uh, maybe it was too high. It was these ones here. These ones here. These ones here. These ones here. And of course too high I mean. I was too high up on the map. <laughs> I think I reset all these ones. Yeah, I must not have reset these bears down here. Well, let's see what the 7 mil did at 250, dropping the shot in. Uh, missed the heart on that one, but I wasn't really aiming for the heart, but pretty close, though. Pretty close to a heart shot at 250. No trouble, though, really. All right, another young... Okay, hey, 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 now. Young female... These are supposed to spawn back as male. Solo male bears is what I've been told. And this is a new spawn. Alright. Where's Michael? Gonna have to gonna have to bring this up. What's going on here? Now speaking of all this uh, sort of rifle talk and uh, 
lower caliber stuff. I made a change. I might have got a little bit more time here for a hunt. Maybe one animal, maybe two animals. Uh, but all I brought... Ready for this? I'm going to do this maybe next episode too. Just bring this. See how we do. Because I find it fun. The scout and the scout alone. That's it. Everything was a 2 2 three. You can never learn if you don't try. You just bring... <laughs> me. On Aurora Shores, I just brought the 2 2 three out. Uh, and then I'm like, I'm going to shoot everything with the 2 2 three. See how I do? And, uh... Oh. And I ended up taking bison with it one shot. An elk over there. Little... Little female fox here. I mean, there's not really much point getting this fox. Let's try an elk. Alerted 170. Really? You alerted that far away? I mean, I, I, I mean, it is worse on the harder difficulties. Is this the uh, herd I already seen? And wind's good. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna let them calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go two, two, three. One of these uh, Rocky Mountain elks. Oh, never mind. These deer called from behind me. I didn't know they were there. Deer first, then the elk. Now, the trouble is, none of them look old. Are this, is this one old? Hmm. Is that the elk calling? Yeah, that's not a big deal. They're to the southeast. I think they're moving to a drink zone. Now, yeah, none of them look too aged, though. Right? They're all looking like a good, good color. Not even any of the does look old. Let's see, I don't know if I can get, oh yeah, you're still here? Uh, I don't know if I can get uh, I'm close enough to see the fur with the camera or not. I mean, if I can't get um, an old one, I'll probably leave them. Really hard to tell. I think they're too young. See if I can get a little closer. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking any of these bucks. I think they're too young. They're gonna get bigger. Pretty sure. I mean, he looks a little older. I don't think he is, though. So what we'll do is, um, I think I have this fox tail right, right here. These foxes. I'm gonna run away. Get out of here. Now here's the trouble part. I, I'm gonna call low fit. And the wind's going that way. But I gotta get over this little hill here. But I'm probably gonna... I might spook them. And so far so good. They should be right up here. Oh, let's see. I gotta get the... Uh, Gotta get that back to normal. Back to seven years old. Oh no, not that button. Then we'll we'll do a low fit call. Oh, they're there. See if I can get one of them to. Uh, oh, right there. One of them come this way. Well, I think I'm leaving them. Uh, I'm getting no low fit response here, and these guys are too young. There's just no point taking out one of these young bucks if they're not low fit. And they're looking like they're pretty large for that. Uh, okay there, fox. Looks like they're good size too for younger, uh, younger bucks here. So much trying out the little scout. But I'm not going to do that. No, I don't think like the doe aren't even that old. Alright. Well, none of them are really positioned well. 
I'm not in a good position anyways, so I guess off the elk. Sometimes you just have to pass them up. And then sometimes you just have to practice shooting with the 223. So 124 out. Oh, is that another another group? Goodness. I can never get far from this campsite here. Okay, there's one there. Doesn't really matter which doe. I just want to try the 223 out here. I haven't done this in a while. It's 120. Let's get the guy out here. Up we go. Just need you to stand. And you stay out of the way. You're going to get bigger. Alright, let's drop it in here. Wind a bit to the left. A little tiny drop. Well, the rack's looking pretty good on those guys. How you feeling there, little doe? How'd the 223 work here? Yeah, well, let's go take a look. Alright, how do we do? Not good? Good? Not good? Maybe? What is this? There we go. Ah, it's a little animal, but, uh, you know, it's still underpowered. So it's good to, good to practice shot placement with the, with the little rifle here. Uh, where'd she go? Oh, she went this way. If you want to practice shot placement, 223's your friend. There it is. Whammo. Did a fine job. It's got, it has a lot of penetration too, so you can probably do a lot of heart shots with this. Maybe we'll consider doing that on the elk, maybe, if I find one here. So, just an adult doe. There we go. Let's sell her off. And those elk are southeast. Okay, here's something interesting. Another female solar bear. So, is this a respawn from the one I just shot? Now I have to try and find out, but all I got is the 223. You know what, it could be fun. Let me see here. We might have to put a couple into her, just because I don't want to have to chase her forever. So, what, sorry, what's the range here? Two, 200. Wind to the right, wind's good. We are going to try 223 in the black bear at 200 meters. We're going to try for the heart shot, since we know where it is right now. Uh, 200 up, wind right. Super hard shot. That's mean I am going to probably put multiple in. Uh, just because I don't have faith in the shot here. Oh, I'm standing. That's bad for shaking. Okay, super hard. Right, man. A little higher, eh? It's going to drop in. Can't really tell. If I can get another shot in as she steps out, I will do it. She ain't running, though. Nope. There she goes. Okay, I don't think that... I don't think that was a kill shot. Not a biggie, though. Not a real surprise, either, because it would have had to hit the heart to take her out. And she's running away, so she clearly didn't hit the heart. Yeah, so here's the blood. Not a big surprise there. Not at, not at that range of 223. It's got to hit the heart. Uh, no problem, though. Because with the increased range of audio, we knew she ran this way. I should be able to find her. Oh, wait, there's mule deer. You are not a bear. Okay, we will uh, switch modes for just a second. And see who we got in here. Good old default difficulty. I was able to jog into them. Oh, here we are. Okay, so over the hill southeast. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna mark it with the the old red mark. So it's over that hill there. While we hunt some mule deer here. And I should be close enough to send the little photo drone in to inspect for old guys. See if I can get a bit closer. 
We're out in the open, so the river here doesn't make a lot of noise. Oh, did I spook him? Uh, as I said, as I spooked them. <laughs> oh well. I uh, I was waiting for them to go alert. Oh, well, no biggie. We're hunting bear anyways. Yeah, so this is going to be a hard approach when I'm impatient. Because the bear is uh, just over this slope here. And I'm uh, expecting her to run again. Okay, we got bear coming in. If we hit the left side, what are we going to be at? Only going to be at 50 meters. Let's get the rifle all ready. Looks like she's turning around just to come back wherever she was. Now, I want the other side. Or, I could do... Ah, uh, see? They're going to walk away now. Why, why are you going that way? The food was over here. Now, this is a shot you definitely don't take with the doo-doo. Here she comes back in, the correct side. You have to be ready here for any kind of turn or nice little angle. Okay. No, she's running pretty fast. Uh, where's the blood? Do you need another one in you? What do we got? Oh no, we got a kill. That's probably flesh then, eh? Oh, where'd you go? Which way did you run? This way. Yeah. Alright. Track her down here. Whoop, over we go. Uh, oh, this way. Uh, wait, did I see blood here? Um, yeah, it's right over here. Okay, she's probably laying down somewhere. I'm probably going to kick her up. Here we go. See, you can hunt black bear with a 223. It just takes a couple shots. 308 and 300. All right, there's the first shot. Not anywhere near at 200 meters to take out the lung. I was too high. Uh, but, you know, if I was lower, it might have did the job. Ooh, that's tricky. I don't know. Because if it was lower, it would have entered a bit sooner, too. Hmm. Oh, it's the next shot. There we go. Two shots into the same lung. That's all that's required. Easy peasy. Knock out that lung. There we go. But. Oh, mature female. So at least it's not the same one. So this one makes more sense. Because uh, she hadn't despawned, or despawned yet. Okay. Uh, right, I hit her toy, so I lost the meat. No problem. Oh, should I do one more? Should I try to find those elk? I have some height. I should be able to see something up here. I bet if I just stay up here long enough with the new range of the calls, I bet you I'll just hear something. Oh, never mind. I can see them. <gasps> There's the elk. Look at this shot. Oh, can I get down there without like destroying myself? Oh, whew. that was close. Okay. Now here's a shot that has a low chance of success. And how would I get down to... Well, we can think about that later. Ooh, this guy, he looks like maybe he's old and low fit. Oh, I can't, I can't lower my binoculars? Here, we'll do this. There we go. So they're going to be too far for me to use a little photo mode. This guy's young. These two might be old. But it could be just how the sun's hitting them. But I'm pretty sure this guy's old. Well, either one of these guys. These are low fit. These two, I think. Alright, 300 meter shot. 
Rocky Mountain Elk. Two, two, three. One failure coming up. It's not going to be much wind. Just a little bit to the left. It's a heavy wind. It's just a little tiny bit here. But there's no shot here at all unless you do a uh, sniper shot and do the, the brain, which I'm not going to do. Oh, is he old too? Maybe. Is that you guys? Yeah. Alright, nothing to do but wait for one of these guys to turn. A river waits and stalks his prey. Sitting on his... well, I guess he's not stalking, is he? He's, uh... <laughs> he's being a sniper with his 223. Well, let's see. Nope, they're just gonna keep walking this way and laying down. Nope, they just turned. I, I don't know, this guy doesn't look old anymore. Broadside, though. I, I'm certain this guy is. They all turned. How come you haven't? That's a big younger guy, I believe. There. No, don't don't be doing anything silly like Gordon away. So he's coming out. All right. I might be able to put one in, but oh man, the heart's going to be so hard to hit. Ah, oh, this is not good. Hmm. No guts, no glory, I guess. Okay, we are going for the heart. The left is going to drop. Oh no, it's going to go a little high. Oh, there's the broadside. Stop on the other side of the tree. Stop, you bugger. I can get through there, though. I can see it. Uh, yeah. No, that didn't work. Which surprises no one. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Picking up to 400. Ha! There you go. Look at that. I knew it all along. Here we are. Yep, no doubt in my mind. Knew it all along. 300 meters, 223. No problem at all. Here goes the rest of the herd. Let's take a look at this guy. Pretty sure he's old. He is an old guy. Let's uh, pick him up. Let's take a look at the shot. It wasn't even a heart shot. Nice. Oh, look at look how close I was. Hey, wait a second, I got robbed. That's clearly into the heart. Hey, now. Well, so clearly I hit the heart, though, but it didn't register his heart. Still, it worked. He's down. I'm kind of grumpy about that, though, because, I mean, that was a hard, a extremely hard shot, and it hit where I was aiming. Except, why didn't it register the hard hitbox? I'm kind of grumpy about that. Oh, well. But, anyways, enough damage to, the, like, take out the lung at that range? Maybe it, maybe it's just not showing the hard hit? I don't know, weird. Let's, uh, oh, 15%, <laughs> 430. I guess I could see how old he was here. What's, uh, what's Rocky Mountain Elk cap out? So he's, he's 430. Look at the money, though. Sell him off. Uh, and 430, a Rocky Mountain Elk. Where are you? Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, look at that, though. 430? Is in the middle here. And he's extremely low fit, so you'd think he'd be down here. So you can see how much age definitely boosts that. But he had to be right at end of life then, because like a 15% fitness can't really go too much higher than that, right? Alright, well that was a good way to end the hunt. Nice little 223 there. 223, all you need. 
Don't worry about all those other rifles. Just bring the 223 out. You're good to go. All right. Well, uh, I think I'll end it here. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. See you next time. Happy hunting. Take care.